towards British people. You know, I loved that film. I saw it when I was a child, and I still do love the film. Um, and then I heard that Peter McDougall did the script. Well, that was a very interesting combination. And then there is the incredible persistence of um, one of the producers who started it, Ian McLean, took 14 years to finance it. And I realized that if we can make this film, that we would just have a, an amazing response from the Scottish cast and crew. They would all want to do this film, you know? And of course, that's what happened. I have to say that we had a great time making the film. I say that almost guiltily, because you know, it's, you're not there to have a great time, you're there to make a good film, but we did, we had a fabulous time. I can't arrest a cave. I want to catch these Thieving Islanders with the goods. More to me than meets the eye. I play the, the postmaster on the island who has two daughters, he's a widower, and the girls are, um, they want to be married, and he's very sad about that because he's going to be left alone. <laughs> he's also very keen on whiskey, and he's a kind of, I couldn't say he's a godfather, but he's kind of um, the brains behind the operation to get their hands on the whiskey. So Katrina is the daughter, one of the two daughters, um, of McCroon, who's the postmaster on the island, and he's the person who's kind of in charge of the island, the main authority figure. Uh, but she's, uh, her and her sister are these, this very cheeky pair. They can get away with a lot of mischief because um, there are very few young people on the island. Their father indulges them and their mother isn't around. So they get up to all sorts of havoc um, on the island, and lots of it including the men that they're, that they're both uh, enamoured with. So they were, really, they were really fun characters to play for both Naomi and I. I think we had a great time doing it. Good morning, Katrina. Good morning, George. God, is that no end to it. At the period this film is set, the, the Free Kirk Minister was an extremely powerful character within the community, you know. In fact, he, he controlled and dominated the community. But it's interesting that Eve McAllister has a penchant for um, a nice dram of whiskey now and then, you know. And how the islanders managed to circumvent his um, religious views and, and make things happen. And they, they still managed to lead a, a wonderful, warm, and uh, have a great community together. In the name of customs and eggs, I stand aside. I try to humanize him because you, you can't just be like a noise, a, a, a sort of someone who's just shouting at people. but. This is what me and, and Fennell, who played my wife, Dolly, we, we tried to have a humanized relationship between ourselves and the, our reaction to the, the, uh, the people. So uh, we'll, we, hopefully that's worked and hopefully people will enjoy what we've done.